Hey, this is Benny Johnson and welcome to my second iOS development tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about the requirements you actually need to develop iOS applications. So the first one being is you're going to need to own an Intel-based um, Mac. Whether that be any Mac from 2006 upwards will probably most likely be an Intel-based Mac. Now, if you don't add own a Macintosh, whether it be MacBook Pro, iMac, whatever, and you're a Windows user that uses a PC, uh, you're going to have a little, some trouble actually developing iOS applications. And technically, you can't until you buy a Macintosh, but there is a solution. And this is kind of a hacker solution. Go check out Hackintosh or Tommy Mac x86. Go have a look at that on Google. I uh, probably shouldn't be saying that, but that is a solution if you do not want to buy that $2,000 Macintosh. All right, so on to the next requirement. The next requirement, which is the second requirement, is make sure you've got the latest firmware, which is Mac OS X line. It costs about $30 to upgrade. Make sure you get that because you're going to need that to actually get into some serious iOS development. So make sure you have that up to date operating system. Third requirement is you're going to need some software to develop our iOS applications and you can get this software for free don't worry you don't have to fork out any cash or anything like that just go into the app store and type in Xcode at the top and this is an IDE or integrated development environment that we're actually going to use to develop our iOS applications and you can also develop Mac and Tosh and software and that sort of thing and this program is what we're going to actually be using to develop these applications so you're going to need to download this this is what we need it has all the tools we actually require to develop really cool applications so you're going to need to need get that and it's about one and a half gigabytes it's not that big it's free so go download that and once you have that installed you'll just about be ready to go now the last and final requirement we need is you're actually going to go, need to go and get an Apple developer account and this is free um, this is the most basic version it just gives you access to the documentation some video and that sort of thing um, to allow you to build and find out information about developing these applications um, I know that most people will actually own iPads and iPhones and that sort of thing and they will want to test their application on their devices. Unfortunately, you cannot do this with the free um, account. You're going to need to upgrade to a um, standard account which costs about a hundred dollars for a year and this will allow you to test your applications on your device and it will also allow you to submit your applications to the um, app store so you're going to need that account if you really want to do some serious if serious development if you just want to play around and learn and maybe later you want to upgrade just go and get that free account and you'll be ready to go so just get that free account it doesn't take long it takes like two seconds and then you'll be ready to go and we'll next tutorial we'll start developing our own iPhone application. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys later.